Good afternoon everyone, sorry about the slight delay, welcome to the Keepmoat Stadium here, Doncaster Rovers Football Club, a quick thank you to them and also Doncaster Rugby Club as well, thanks for uh, your use of these fantastic facilities. It's the first time up here and I felt it was important to come up and, and see all the media before another huge fight in the career of Jamie McDonnell. Obviously remember his fantastic career defining performance against Tomoki Kamida last time defending his WBA title and this time he goes back to Texas unfortunately, to do it again. And um, we were first told that the fight was in New York, actually, and it was, it was fantastic. We were all so excited. And that was the one thing that Jamie asked for, was, or, well, actually more Dave asked for, was that the fight wasn't in Texas again. So just three hours before they announced the press release, they said, I'm afraid there's been a, a, a venue change. And I thought, please don't be Texas. And I said, where is it? And they said, Corpus Christi. I was over the moon about that. And I asked what state it was in. It was in Texas. So we're, we're back there. Jamie doesn't really mind, Dave does, but uh, you know, it's, a, it's a wonderful opportunity again. Uh, Sunday night, September the 6th, um, live on NBC and live on Sky Sports here in the UK. Um, it's it's going to create a huge audience for him in America and again in the UK. Sunday boxing is something new in America and I think around 8 or 9 p.m. here in the UK it's going to do extremely well. So it's a fantastic opportunity for Jamie and as his promoter, he's so easy to work with because all he asks for is the biggest possible fights and he doesn't care where they are, Corpus Christi, Timbuktu or Doncaster. Of course, in an ideal world, we'd love to be here and I think after this fight, you know, depending on what, what arises out in America again, we'd love to bring him back and have a big fight here, whether it be a bantamweight or super bantamweight. Uh, a gentleman that's, that's now a huge part of Jamie McDonald's career as manager and trainer, I'm going to talk to you about the fight itself and heading out. I'd like to pass over to Dave Colbert. Cheers. Yeah, not a big fan of Texas, but a ring's a ring. And um, the most important thing is that, you know, for Jamie, it's a high-profile fight. He could fight over here against somebody that you've never heard of, um, not get the attention, not get the media attention, um, and not get the payday that he's going to be getting this time round. Um, so that was the main thing that, that Jamie was interested in. Straight after the fight, he just said, what's the biggest fight out there? So um, we got it. Um, like I said, we thought it were New York. In fact, in fact, the promoters out there actually said to me at the airport, "We'll get. Well, we won't bring you back to Texas. We'll bring you. We'll, we'll LA, Vegas. Vegas, we'll Vegas, like Vegas I said, you'd be dangerous you know? in Vegas. Yeah. It's the only problem. Not so you know, but it's Texas. So and Holly, have you seen the shopping in Vegas? Come on. Yeah. What about New York, though? No, exactly. Yeah. He was actually over the moon. It wasn't in New York. <laughs> yeah. So um, you know, we've got a job to do, and we're looking forward to it. You know, right from the start, the first fight was close, competitive. Every round was very, very close and, and hard fought. I personally had it down to the last round, and Jamie went out there and, and absolutely smashed him in the last round. I mean, this time round, we can't afford to let each round be as close and competitive as, as the last time. And so I need Jamie to, to establish himself more, keep that into that jab, and then, you know, every time they're getting close, he's got to bash him up, basically. Um, and I think if he does what he's, what he's been working on and if he, if he performs how I, I can see him performing then I think we'll win it clearer and, and it wouldn't surprise me if, if Jamie stops him late on um, don't get me wrong, I expect Kameda to be a better fighter this time round in my mind I'm treating it as though Kameda looked at Jamie McDonald, looked at the fact that he's, he hasn't got as you know, he's not really as recognised as other champions in the division probably took him easy. He's, he's, a, he's a family of fighters, you know, they're all champions, they're all, you know, big name fighters over there. He's a, he's a bit of a hero in, in Mexico and in Japan. So, he was, he come across at the press conference, um, I said to you, after, I said to Jamie after, the way that he, he reacted, just because Jamie said that he was going to beat him, it was like a spoiled I'm kid. I said I'm going to knock him out, yeah. so he just spat his dummy out. He proper he? spat his dummy out, and it's the way he was, he was really aggressive and really, you know, it, it turned. And I thought he's just a bully, and when things don't go his way, then he's gonna, you know, he's gonna get frustrated, and and that that gives Jamie more chance of, of putting it on him in the later rounds, and that's what he is. Bottom line is he is a bully, and when Jamie starts hitting him and starts touching him up and starts beating his body down again this time round, then you know those those natural instincts I think will, will come out, and, um, and and I expect a good performance from Jamie. Jamie, obviously, uh, you know, another trip to America. You, you don't seem to care where it is. You I just don't want mind the biggest as long as it's I, I, remember, I remember you said to me once, you know, 
Ed, I'm not, I'm not that mad on boxing. I'm just very, very good at it. He said, just get me the biggest fights you can, and I'm happy. And, and again, going here, and, and obviously, with everything you've achieved in your career, British Commonwealth, European, two-time world champion, now it's about creating a legacy, not just with performances and record books, but obviously financially for your family as well. And this fight covers both of those, and, and a, a huge opportunity for you once again. It does, you know, this fight, you know, the last fight set me up, and, you know, this fight is a, a real good payday, you know, but we, we all know there's bigger paydays out there, and, you know, we aren't beating Kameda, you know, I'm not going to get them big paydays, and I'm not in boxing, you know, to pick up bells, even though I keep picking them up. I'm in it, I'm in it for the money. Uh, we all know that, and, you know, I want them big paydays, so as long as I, I just look at it like this, as long as I keep winning, keep getting paid. I don't have to go back plastering. Um, you know, so Toki make him a what's he called? Tomoki I don't even know his name. It's, uh, it's gonna bring the, the the best, you know, uh, even more because I've took his oath. Uh, you know, he's gonna want it back and like you say his family's a fighting a fighting family and they're proud, you know what I mean? And I've just gone and beat his son. Uh, you know, so he's gonna want he's gonna want it even more but He's not going to want it more than me, believe me, you know. And I'm out there to make a statement. September 6th, I'm going to stop him. Um, I'm not sure what round yet, but uh, I'm going to stop him. Perhaps you'll let us know. I'll let, let a fair few people okay. close to me know. Oh. But um, no, you know, I'm there to make a statement. I'm a, the, the best out there at Bantamweight. And before I move up to Super Bantamweight, I've got to make a statement. Um, and in this fight, I'm going to make that statement. I've got two questions for you. Obviously, is this just a complete roller coaster? Every every fight is a, is a bonus now. For everything you've achieved, now it's just like one more and another one and another one. It's just another win edges you closer to just another massive fight and another massive fight. It's a case of how many you can rack up now. That's it. You know, when I won my British title, it was here's a good bit of money. You're fighting for a British title, and from then I just keep winning. And as long as I keep winning, I keep getting paid. So I just keep I take each fight as it comes. You know, I got beat in them two fights before I boxed for a British title. I don't want to get beat again. When I get beat, you know, the drive, you know, the pride, it's going to go. I know, I know it is, so that's why I keep pulling it out of the bag and I keep winning. Uh, I just take each fight as it comes. Um, and hopefully, you know, I'll make a good life for me and my wife and my baby and keep getting away on holiday and stuff. <laughs> my second question is, and I won't go into the financials, but I know that since you've been with us, we, we've and including this fight as well, you, you've been paid a lot of money. When are you going to pack this plastering up? You know I mean? I'm not pack it in, you know, it's a good bit of bonus money, I'm telling you. I love it, you know, but I don't love it that much, I want to go back and do it. Um, I can remember when we, I first come down to a match room and we sat in there and the first thing Eddie said, he says, we want to get your house paid off as soon as we can. You know, I paid that off in the last fight, um, you know, so, you know, I'm mortgage free. And I always said in boxing, if I can get my house paid for, that'll do me. But it won't do me now, you know what I mean? I want more. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it, you know. I am living the dream. I'll probably think back in 10 years and, you know, realise I actually was living the dream. But, um, you know, I'm just enjoying the roller coaster. And, you know, September the 6th, that roller coaster is not ending, you know, it's going to keep going. And there's a few more big fights left and a few more big paydays. And just looking forward, I'm looking forward to this fight. The last fight I can remember just before thinking, I can't wait to get in there and fight, you know what I mean? We, we, we don't get paid, you know, you know, just to get punched in the head for no, do you know what I mean? But we're looking forward to getting in there and getting punched in the head. Um, obviously, I got punched in the head in round three and got dropped, but, uh, you know, I learned from that mistake. Um, now I know, you know what I mean, I'm not invincible. You know, if I get hit, I might go down. So, you know, we've been what we've been working on in the gym, you'll see September 6th, you know, I'll not be getting dropped, which would. Obviously, teaming up now with Dave Cole, we've seen a lot of, you know, clips of the train looks very, very hard. Seeing you with a smile on your face when you're not in the gym. Some strange videos of you and your brother singing Biggie Smalls in bands and stuff like that. But, but there seems to be, you know, a real great atmosphere in the gym now and, and the training obviously going well. It is, you know, um, an happy fighter, you know, he's a better fighter and we enjoy it down there. I don't enjoy going to the gym. Dave doesn't tell us what we're doing tomorrow. We turn up and then they tell, it, well, they don't even tell us when we turn up, we just, we start doing it and it's never ending, you know, you might think you're training for half an hour, you're training for two hours, you know, you don't look forward to the session, but when you've done the session, you feel good, you know, and I feel absolutely fantastic, we're working on so many different things and, 
as a fighter, you don't really see it. You know, I, I, I keep watching me spar, and I, you know, watch each other spar, and you can see that, you know, how much they're coming on with what they've shown us. And to be fair, I didn't really see, feel much improvement, but he sent me a few videos sparring, and I've watched it, and I'm like, chucking it's all working, this, and I'm looking, and I'm feeling uh, fantastic, you know, so hopefully we take that into the ring, and you'll see a different fighter, a smarter fighter, uh, one what don't get tagged with a right hand, then, you know, we'll, we'll get a good win. And obviously your brother as well, you know, not going to be fighting at Leeds on September 5th, but now at the end of October, but important that you're all together. And, uh, you know, an unbelievable rise for him, winning British and European titles and now rank, ranked in the world bodies as well. He is, you know, he's getting his, you know, he's building his way up there. He hadn't quite picked all belts up, I did, you know, he hadn't got Commonwealth and stuff, but, you know, um, I'm sure he'll get there. And like I say, I keep telling him, he gets a bit disheartened, you know, you know, I was like, am I ever going to get a world title fight? Am I ever going to get one of them belts? And I said, look, when I move up, I said, I'll get one, I'll vacate it, and I'll let you fight for it. <laughs> so he will end up getting one, you know, he will get there, but um, you just got to keep chipping away. He's seen me do it, you know, I've got there, you know, and I'm not half as dedicated as him. I'm dedicated, he's just a living machine. Um, I'm sure Dave will tell you that, but, you know, I'm just starting to, you know, peak now, so, you know, I'm just pipping him in the gym. Um, you know, I'm feeling good, he's feeling good, and we're on a good journey, it's our next journey, and, you know, I hope everyone enjoys it. Thanks, Jamie. Well, there you go. Two, two great brothers, all achieving so much. Gavin will be out end of October defending his European title, and Jamie defending his WBA bantamweight title September the 6th, Corpus Christi in Texas, live on uh, NBC on professional uh, Premier Boxing Champions and also uh, live on Sky Sports. Thank you for coming today. It's been great coming up here. Jamie's available for media, and Dave and Gavin, of course, as well. And, and thanks for supporting Jamie. He's had a wonderful career, and I think... We get the feeling like it's only just beginning. So uh, enjoy the journey and we'll see you very soon. Thank you. Thank you.